Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have my first ever Daiso haul. Daiso part one of probably four or five because this was my first time shopping at Daiso and let me say, I bought a lot. So if you would like to see this haul, it's just like a random miscellaneous stuff, but also really cute. Keep on watching the video and don't forget to subscribe down below for more videos just like this and hit the notification bell. All right, let's jump into this haul. Hi guys. All right. So really quickly before we get into this Daiso haul, I just wanted to let you know and express to you my love for Daiso really quickly since I've never done a Daiso haul on this channel. Um, if you don't know what Daiso is, Daiso is, it's basically a, um, like a Japanese Dollar Tree or 99 cent store rather. Um, of course, they're all over Japan, but they also have a few locations here in the States. I believe some in Canada. I don't know if they have any other Daiso locations around the world. Um, let me know in the comments if they do, because I'm unsure about that. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, my boyfriend and I decided to take a trip out to Dallas. Well, technically Arlington, but the Dallas, uh, Texas area. Um, specifically because they have a round one there, which is like a Japanese arcade. They have games, karaoke, and we went for the claw games because my boyfriend's like obsessed with those. And um, they're super fun. But um, they also had a Daiso there at that mall. And so it was a win-win situation. I absolutely love Daiso, guys. I've seen so many hauls here on YouTube and I'm always so jealous of people that have Daisos that are like nearby where they live. And Dallas is about five hours away from where I live, so it's not exactly, you know, a 10 minute drive. But it was well worth it. And when I went in there, I was so overwhelmed with everything that was just everywhere. I didn't know where to turn, I almost had a panic attack. And I was like, I wish I was rich because I would buy everything because everything is so cute. And they have everything. They have, of course, stationery. You know, the Japanese don't mess around with their stationery. They have the cutest stationery ever. But they also have like home decor. They have um, kitchen supplies, a whole row of like snacks and stuff, just like pretty much everything you can think of. And everything is 100 yen in Japan, which is technically about a dollar or like 90 cents or something. I don't know, it fluctuates. Um, so super dirt cheap whenever we do go to Japan, I'm gonna lose it there, especially since they have one in, I think it's in Tokyo, it's like six floors or seven floors. I'm RIP because there will be no more bank account for me. But anyway, um, this one was a smaller location, which I was kind of disappointed in, but I was like, you know, it's fine. I think it's a good thing that it was smaller just because I spent a lot of money. But it was well worth it because I didn't know the next time I was going to be there. So anyway, um, again, yeah, everything in the U.S. is $1.50. So again, still extremely dirt cheap unless it's marked. They have like a price conversion chart. So make sure you check that if you have a local Daiso near you to read that. If it's like 200 yen, it'll be like, I think, $3 or $4, something like that. Um, I think the most expensive item is, I think, $12. Don't quote me on that. But I feel like about 85% of the items there are you know, a dollar fifty in the U.S. Um, so, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm sorry, this intro is already long enough. Um, I just really wanted to share with you how much I love Daiso, and if you have one near you, it's well worth the trip. Make it out there. Um, okay, so the first item that I have here is this super cute deodorant sheet of toilet to piece. Is what it's called, and it's like a felt, like a thick piece of felt, and it has a cute panda sitting on the toilet. Um, it's literally like a big sticker and this is how it looks and it doesn't really smell very good it smells like 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 old perfume <laughs> so it's supposed to last 30 days but I thought this would look super cute in the guest bathroom so I picked that up the next item is this little yellow squishy alpaca I just thought it was adorable and they also have a lot of things there that you would never think that you need but then when you see it you're like where has this been my whole life I, it's just just take all my money please but anyway this is really cute it's just a little like squishy llama and I just thought it was adorable so I got that and then I also picked up these little like hand towels they have a lot of these these are great to just keep in your purse or something it's supposed to say I think I don't know it says cleaning dreams um but 
there's a super cute bunny, a macaroon. I love the like, uh, the pastel colors. I thought that was really pretty. And then it has like a mint colored one. I love that color with the mint and the pinks. And then they also have licensed Sanrio and San X products so like Rilla Kuma, um, Sumiko Gurashi. Um, they have a lot of Disney items and I believe some peanuts items or Snoopy items because I know that's really popular in Japan. Um, and all these items are imported from Japan so that's why it's $1.50 here in the US at least um, or most of it is just because it has to come all the way from Japan. But um, most of the Sanrio products were, they all of it was like about $2.00. Um, with the exception of some items but anyway so yeah they have this little hello kitty it's a cotton swab slim case so you could put band-aids in there or pretty much whatever you want but it's super cute so i picked her up i also got this adorable fan they had a wide selection of fans i'm always hot especially in this texas heat i just can't i hate summer so much um it's a goldfish print um and I thought that it was going to be a paper material, but it's actually, oh my god, I think I was opening it wrong. It's this really cool, like you can see it has cherry blossoms and it has goldfish, but the material is kind of like, a, like an umbrella material. It's super pretty, very well made. I was pretty surprised because again, I thought it was going to be paper, but it wasn't. So I absolutely love that. I also bought this wolf felt kit and it's this adorable little gray hamster and I think he's like holding a little pink bag. It's a little keychain and they have a lot of crafts. So if you're looking for really cute craft supplies, really inexpensive, Daiso has a ton of them and they have a lot of art kits and specifically these needle felt kits, which I've been wanting to get into needle felting. Um, I just think it would be a really cool hobby. Um, this comes with the wool felt, the needle, the eye parts, the round jump ring, and the ball chain. I just need an awl and um, a woolen felt mat, which they didn't have any there. So, And I went to Michael's and Hobby Lobby about a week ago or so, and uh, they didn't have anything, so I might have to order it online. But look how cute this hamster is. Okay, so the next item is something that it's questionable but I needed it and there are these chair leg foot covers so you get four of them they're basically socks for your chairs <laughs> but it's actually pretty handy because um that way your chairs don't nick um if you have wooden floors or if you have laminate or whatever it just keeps them nice and um it doesn't scratch anything so obviously it's going to be for one chair eventually I would like to get them all for my um dinner table and of course hello they're llamas white fuzzy llamas and it's on both sides which is super cute but you don't have to use these for chairs honestly these are literally socks you could probably use these as little like mitts for like babies so they don't scratch their face or something um you could even put these on your dog i mean you could do a lot with these these are super cute they also had different other patterns but of course i had to get the llamas another thing that they are really known for is their bento box accessories and I've been wanting to get more, but it's so hard to find them where I live. So Daiso has a wide selection of them. And of course I had to pick up a Hello Kitty one. So it looks like this. It's literally a plastic rice ball maker. It has Hello Kitty's face. And you can also store your rice ball in there too if you want. So this is the, an example of how it can look. And then it has this little red face cutter. So you can cut her whiskers, her bow, and her eyes and nose out. And um, look how cute that Hello Kitty rice ball is. Um, yeah, it's really awesome. I mean, bento boxes are just beautiful. And so it shows you here step by step what you can do. You can use it for like turkey or ham or whatever. But you don't even have to use it just for this um, specific reason. You could use this to store like beads or anything, honestly. It's just literally like a plastic case. And then you could even use this to imprint Hello Kitty's face on like sugar cookie dough or something. So always think out of the box. You don't have to use everything for just one specific purpose. Um, and then the next item are these um, like circus pastel um, lunch picks. They're just little itty bitty plastic picks that bear a bunny, this uh, cute heart, and then like a carousel, like the top of a carousel. And it shows you here that you can use it for like little peas or carrots or corn or whatever. And um, I just thought these were adorable. You could use them for grapes or anything you want, honestly. Um, so they have a wide assortment of adorable little picks. And then the next item that I have are these two petite blocks. 
they're like little lego blocks i have the guy and the girl and my boyfriend loves doing these um i don't really have the patience for them there's that guy with his little heart but they had again they have a wide assortment of everything honestly and then here's the girl with her pink dress um so if you're into lego building that would be a section that you would absolutely love Okay, the next item is a little banner. It's like a little tapestry that you can hang, and I thought this was really cute. So when we did go, we went to Daiso first, and then we went to round one. Um, and then after that, I did a little, or I made sure I went again for a small little trip to pick up whatever I needed, because I didn't know, again, when's the next time I'm going to be able to go. Which, by the way, they are going to make a Daiso near where I live. I just don't know exactly when. So they should be releasing that information hopefully soon, so I know, and I'll definitely be there every other weekend. I definitely won't be purchasing as much as I did this time, just because it'll be closer to me, and I'll be going there a lot more often, but I am so excited. So anyway, it's, they're these super cute little sumo wrestlers, and I love that baby blue background. I think that is so pretty. So I got him. And then last but not least are these little zipper bags, and there's an eight count in here. Daiso is known for their zipper bags. You don't have to use them for snacks or for food. You could literally use these for um, beads, um, for anything that you honestly want. And look how cute these are. They're like little carousels, and there's macaroons, and it's just absolutely adorable. I love the pastel colors. It says today's the perfect day and it kind of has like a holographic film thing going on. But yeah. And here it is out of the package. So it's literally just a, a little Ziploc bag. So it is clear. But look how cute that is. I mean, you can't say no to these. They just had so many and I, I settled on just one and it was such a hard decision for me, but I was like, okay, just one Ziploc bag set. Okay, the next items are little Sanrio, um, probably, they're like for children, but I don't care. So this little white plate, it says Hello Kitty and then it has Hello Kitty with the chef's hat. It's just absolutely adorable and it's just a small, or it says mini bowl, so you can use this for fruit or whatever. Obviously you can use them for kids, but you know, of course I'm gonna use them for myself. And then I got these uh, soup cup, soup cup, or like little bowls, you can use them for fruit too, or whatever, little snacks. Hello Kitty there with some like stew or some soup. And then I got the Gudutama one, of course, because I love Gudutama. And there he is, and it's like a pale yellow, and it's just, he's just hanging out, really adorable. And then last but not least, are these uh, Gudutama cup sets. Um, I wish I could have found the Kudatama matching plate, and I'm pretty sure the Hello Kitty one had the matching um, cups, but this is all that I had. So you get two of them. You get a light yellow with Kudatama all around it, and then a golden yellow. The Lazy Egg. How cute is he? Super adorable. So of course I got these, you can use them for juice or, I mean, honestly, you could store whatever you want. Again, you don't have to use them for food. All right, guys, so there you go. There's an overview of everything that I purchased for this Daiso haul part one. I hope you liked this video. If you did, let me know in the comments, what did you think down below? Which item was your favorite? And if you've recently been to a Daiso, what have you been buying? Is there anything that I should be looking out for? Um, my favorite item, I think I'm gonna have to say, is gonna be this hamster wool felt, uh, needle felt kit. I'm just so excited to make that. So stay tuned for that. And of course these bento box accessories, I just, I love everything, obviously. I'm super excited to use it all. Anyway, um, stay tuned for the next video coming up because I have a ton of washi tape, a ton of sticker flakes, sticker sheets, um, stationary sets, notepads, memo pads, like a ton of stationery. I just wanted to do the miscellaneous items for my first part. Um, I have a lot, so I'm definitely going to have to do them in parts because it's going to be way too long. Sorry for the intro being so long in this one. I just really wanted to express how much I love Daiso. But anyway, um, don't forget to subscribe down below if you like videos just like this. I would love to have you here and hit the notification bell as well. You can also follow me on Instagram, which will be linked in the description. And as always, stay kawaii, my friends, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, guys.